So after Alexander Volkanovsky got knocked out against Ilya Teporia and lost his featherweight strap, Eugene Berman has come out and just made some interesting comments about how Volkanovsky's health is up until this point. And we do know Alexander Volkanovsky's coach came out shortly after that contest and said that Teporia got a lucky punch and that's the only reason that he won, which I thought was absolutely crazy. And I don't think he gives Teporia enough credit in my opinion. But Eugene Berman, came out and he said that, you know, Alexander Volkanovsky... He isn't really having too many symptoms in regards to concussions and that sort of thing. Whereas after the Islam Markchev contest, the, the concussion and the evidence of a concussion was very evident to him. So Eugene Berman coming out and saying that Alexander Volkanovsky's health doesn't look as bad now as compared to when he faced Islam Markchev is good news for us Volk fans. You know, obviously we want to see him come back and, you know, do well within the UFC. And <laughs> what's hard for us watching is, you know, seeing a lot of fighters that were in his position in the past and how things haven't necessarily turned out great for them. I mean, there are exceptions, of course. You know, we had Jose Aldo, who, you know, went down in weight and was a bit of an older fighter and still competed very well within those lighter weight classes. But the fact that he doesn't seem to be as affected by it is great. And I mean, if he is going to be taking a long break, maybe at least eight to nine months, I think he can come back and be very competitive. But I think it would be very dangerous at this point in Volkanovski's career to... You know, do a quick turnaround like he did after his Islam Markachev loss because we've all seen how that one turned out. We all know Alexander Volkanovsky is an absolute champion. He'll want to be coming back and getting a rematch against Teporia. I know in one of my last videos I said that I don't think that he should do that. And I don't think he'll touch the title again. But in saying that, one of the reasons that I said that is that, you know, he's incredibly active. You know, and he likes to be incredibly active. And I sort of assumed that after this knockout, he's going to get right back in there within three to four months as well as obviously the age thing, which, you know, does give me some cause for concern, as it should, you know, when you look at fighters around his age, you know, they don't exactly have one of the, some of the best records. So I think for Alexander Volkanovsky, him taking a long break, at least eight to nine months, will probably be the smartest play here, especially after those two consecutive losses. But who do you guys actually think he's going to face within his return? Do you think he's going to go straight for the rematch against Teporia? I believe that he will, you know, I believe that he will. And I believe the longer that he waits, the better chance he's going to have within this particular contest. And we'll just see how he looks from there, guys. See how he performs and see where his career is at after that. But ever since that title fight, you know, things have been looking incredibly up for Teporia. Obviously got his Spanish citizenship granted to him after that win. So that is something that's very much changed his life. So congratulations to him. But that's it for me today, guys. If you do like this content, make sure to subscribe. Take care.